So let's look at the solutions as we go forward because uh, yes, we've had challenges, but there's also good news here going forward. Uh, one of which, as we've been discussing, has to do with the price of solar itself and the fact that uh, it may not, in fact, require support and subsidy. Uh, so clearly, as solar becomes more competitive, we have an opportunity to draw it into the power equation, whether it's through the grid or through direct uh, offtake. Uh, so, so that's technology, fortunately. But what else? What else can we do to ensure going forward uh, we don't see some of the issues of the past, as in solar not getting the funding that it uh, deserves? Well, Lana, as you say, now solar is getting to the point where we can sell commercially at market price directly to customer which is fantastic because we don't need subsidy. What we need from the government as an industry in India is consistency and persistence and delivery on policy, particularly the enforcement of RPO obligations on uh, distributors of power, and the enforcement of the open access law of the land, which in many states, frankly, it is very hard to get open access. Yeah. So you can d um, generate remotely and deliver through the grid yeah. with a fee to a customer. And that the government, I think, does need to enforce because that would provide uh, creditworthy customers to solar developers. The other area that I think, um, based on the Gujarat experience that the new Modi government can do, which would help enormously, is in centralized locations with very high insulation. So that means Rajasthan, parts of Gujarat, parts of, parts of Maharashtra, have government facilitated infrastructure provided, for, particularly around the land, mm -hmm. so that land for solar does not become an issue. We locate large plants or multiple plants collected together in locations which are ideal for solar and the government provides the evacuation infrastructure and common shared facilities paid for by the tenants. Yeah. So IT parks for solar. Yeah. And then we have a massive opportunity to ramp up on a pro purely private sector, non-subsidized basis yeah. with credit worthy corporate customers as the off takers. Yeah, that's, uh, it's great when you talk of it as an IT park for solar, particularly around issues to do with land, because I imagine the land that we could do this on would n could be just it's wasteland. Marginal. Yeah. It's marginal, right? So, exactly. so why not? Right. And uh, look at this as a way to do this. But when you talk of evacuation infrastructure, can you expand on that? Yes. I mean, say the Gujarat Solar Park, which is the example we have at the moment that Mr. Modi opened in three years ago. Now, um, there are about twenty-five tenants, private sector tenants, on the land. But the government DISCOM has provided the evacuation okay. collectively. So that means you have a higher uh, KVA evacuation yeah. line. Or even if you have a very large facility and you're going to distribute it across state boundary, power grid could come directly to a location in Rajasthan okay, so and pick up link. a gigawatt or yeah. two gigawatts of power from a collection of solar facilities yeah. in one place. Great, so it takes away the cost of the actual infrastructure That's right. uh, to distribute and pick and, up And the it makes it more, yeah. more stable. Yeah. yeah, and it's shared. Correct, it's right. shared. So good? Well, I think firstly, uh, the uh, segment is maturing. As an entrepreneur who entered solar business, uh, maybe many started as a speculative land bank holding to leverage and you know trade on the assets what they have and maybe even a bid which they have won at a price which was unsustainable. There was a lot of speculative dimension mm. which might have even resulted in banks losing some confidence mm. in the sector. So that learnings out of that and today as Alan also said I mean he, he doesn't have to bid in the, uh, the subsidy, uh, yeah. subsidy uh, framework or go for government they can get a state government schemes which are there, uh, which are can be managed extremely well uh, and they are genuine uh, developers who would mm -hmm. come into it and there's also the rest of it which is happening in the, uh, you know, a specialization, there's a developer, there is a, a EPC yeah. uh, and the equipment and uh, hardware mm -hmm. coming in, uh, the sources are getting stabilized so the timing for execution as such has been good, it's going to improve further. So I think a lot of uh, uh, going forward improvements have to come on the side of the uh, entrepreneur yeah. as we go forward and as he said, uh, Alan said that uh, evacuation in terms of the government and the transmission lines yeah. and uh, enabling the solar energy and I think the states and the center both have to recognize that solar energy is something which we have to increase yes. the percentage uh, in our 
energy crisis and every time I think the oil prices go up or something happens in Syria, uh, the focus comes back to solar energy or renewables yeah. a little more. So that's the time now yeah. and with Mr. Modi's own commitment and experience in this area, I do hope we have a better government support. Yeah. Uh, we don't need many new policies. We just need execution and implementation in a focused manner to what they have promised they must deliver. And so what are your thoughts in terms of uh, can solar deliver 25 to 30 percent of India's power going forward if oh, we get all this right? I won't talk about the past but I think they said 20, 20, 20,000 megawatt. Yeah. Is, is the That's do doable. That's There's doable. no question of yeah. 20,000 megawatt by, by 2020. 2020. Yeah. yeah, But I think we should be realistic. Is that so, ambitious so, enough? No, it's not. But no. So, I so thought we were already at 12 or 13. No, to 3. Yeah. And Solar will always be part of, yeah. of the mix, so solar will never replace base load capacity Correct. Of Correct. until we get storage. Correct. But it certainly can be 10 or 20 percent of India's requirement, and it could be incrementally more important yeah. going forward. So the vision is and right directionally. That's and where also, we to, to my mind, what is happening new is a lot of local governance focus on solar in terms of rooftop, yeah. in terms of public places. And the encouragement there, where as an individual citizen yeah. uh, gets the benefit and the incentives, whatever it is, he's able to manage that much better. All the malls coming up, commercial buildings yes. coming up, to my mind, uh, the mandatory solar or uh, as a business case yeah. going to solar is something which is right there, as Alan said, its cost is commercially viable and it's much better than a diesel generating set backup. I much rather use the solar with its storage uh, and everything yeah. else. And, and of I course, know. we never analyze the cost of the environment. If yeah. you put that in, oh, it's that, That's a bonus, yeah. I mean, great bonus yeah. if we can do that. And the last thing, of course, we need, as we discussed earlier, is for the Finance Ministry, SEBI, um, and the RBI to pool the knowledge with the banks about long-term infrastructure yes. finance. Yes. Yes. Because yeah. that is that's a gaping yeah. hole for all infrastructure yeah. projects in Absolutely. India. Right. So there we are. Uh, I think there are solutions there that are staring us in the face. We have uh, clearly at the state government level examples of what Gujarat has done, so we can pick up on that. Uh, we do know that uh, at the entrepreneur level uh, there are success maturity. stories and there's maturity there in terms of the learnings. I think banks too. Uh, will know that there are projects such as yours, Alan, which have worked and uh, there are opportunities to fund positively. Even while we look at developing the long-term debt market, which has been on the wish list ever since I can remember, uh, but moving that agenda would be very, very critical. And I would just add maybe the opportunity of using multilateral institutions for credit enhancement ideas, uh, which enable at least the tenor of these facilities from banks to go up. Just one point, Nana. You know, we talked about NPAs in infrastructure and banking. The sector is very concerned. Yeah. The fact of the matter is the entrepreneur might have leveraged a little bit extra over aggressive in uh, uh, committing investments. But each and every case of NPA is result of project getting stalled. Yeah. You have put 60% of your investment on the ground some government permission, something has not happened yeah. and therefore it's all stalled and therefore the ability to recycle the funds, yes. further investments or repay and issue. therefore it becomes NPA is the reality in all sectors including solar in yes. that measure. Yes, so you're right that why should solar be singled out? It yeah. is an issue across the board for most things to do with infrastructure right now. And you do restructuring there, you've got all types of mechanism and I think solar also needs something yeah. similar to go forward. Great. So, any last-minute thoughts or? Uh, it's more than enough. Okay. Good.